Good morning. It's about 1130 here in Southern California and kind of cool out here at the shop about 13 degrees Celsius and uh, this is going to be uh, very quick. Um, it's just a follow-up and a, a conclusion to the um, to the four jaw tag chuck and um, I I kind of finalized this project so um, all I've done since the last video is um, is true up the jaws which which need to be trued up uh, they're just rough jaws to begin with so they you'll find they have considerable run out um, without without uh, truing them up so um, just a couple comments uh, first of all um, the proof is in the pudding here so um, I've got a half inch end mill in there um, which which I'm thinking the shaft is pretty true on that I, I, I wouldn't imagine it's it's uh, if it's out any it's out tenths of a thousand so for these chucks it probably doesn't make much difference uh, these chucks aren't you know totally accurate you can get much more accuracy if uh, using the regular independent four jaw chuck which that's what I pretty much use all the time anymore I don't fool with these scroll chucks anymore not even on my mini lathe I have a four jaw independent in there that I use uh, almost exclusively so uh, you know the take lathe it's easy to switch chucks uh, the mini lathe is a little more trouble but um, so I can just switch up the chucks if I want but anyway uh, this four jaw chuck seems to work pretty good the project uh, came out good um, I didn't have too many problems I did I did take the chuck apart and clean it all out it had a bunch of crap inside and um, I re-greased it and and put it back together again also I deburred some of the work that I'd done previously uh, during the machining process um, and make sure all the surfaces were clean and put together so now we're we're at the testing stage I um, I trued up the jaws I do want to mention one thing that um, uh, I don't know if I can show it on the camera here without changing the zoom but you know take furnishes you a little washer uh, with the three jaw check and um, this washer is about one inch in diameter the chuck actually opens to uh, about uh, a couple hundred thousands more than that so um, actually this washer probably is just fine looks kind of crude but it's probably just fine uh, to do the uh, to do the work I'm not going to mention a lot about turning up the jaws there's a lot of information out there on the, on the internet on YouTube on uh, Nick Carter's website on there's just a whole bunch of uh, places that talk about truing up these chucks there's a whole bunch of different ways and methods for doing it um, basically you need to load the jaws that's the the one thing and you got to realize that um, your your only clamping um, the workpiece in a very small tiny area so these jaw these chucks don't have much holding power um, unless in, unless you actually bored the chuck for every diameter you were going to cut accurately which would be very difficult with these little chucks um, you, you're not going to get very good holding power you're going to only hold holding power at the center of each each face of each jaw so it's 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 not going to be great um, but that said the one inch washer works fairly good um, so every everything that's uh, one inch diameter and below will will clamp up okay you know actually I have a little larger washer um, it's just a simple just parted off a piece of steel all it is um, turned it concentric and parted it off I don't know how thick it is I have no idea but um, it's about it's about uh, two hundred thousandths over uh, one inch so that that lets me run the jaw the jaws out to their maximum diameter and and get decent holding power out there so um, I, I don't know how to explain it uh, any better than that uh, when you bore it you're boring a diameter into the jaws so you got to think about where the jaws are going to hit the workpiece 
and uh, so forth and so on. So anyway, that said, um, I put a dial indicator on here, and I'm I'm going to be satisfied with this. Um, uh, as I if I you can see the dial indicator moving, it's moving about uh, four tenths in one direction, and about three tenths in the other direction. So it's it's running out less than one thousandth. Okay. So let's say about seven tenths or something to that effect. This this dial indicator only has half thousandths marked, so I'd have to get out another dial indicator. But in reality, I don't think you're going to get it much better than that. Uh, in the process of doing this, um, I also I also dismantled the uh, the three jaw chuck that I have. And I have some. I had some new jaws sitting around the shop here. I put on there, and um, I got this one all trued up too. And it's running about the same. About it's running out about seven tenths. So that's pretty good. Uh, I did. <laughs> I haven't taken this jaw, this shuck apart for a long time, and I realized that uh, I took it apart, and it was just full of swarf. So I cleaned it all out and and re greased it and set it up. So. And I and I put the new jaws on it and bored those and um, so we're in good shape actually so I'm I'm satisfied with that. These both of these chucks are going to go back in my drawer uh, because like I say I don't I don't use these scroll chucks um, that often but they are handy in reality they are they are very handy to use and um, so if um, if you're not taking work pieces in and out and you're just you just, uh, I mean, they give you a certain amount of con uh, concentricity. So uh, that said, you got to realize that they have their limitations, and I get frustrated with that sometimes. But I have to, I have to realize that that's that's the fact of life. So um, that said, that'll that'll wind up this uh, this video. Um, and uh, like I say, I it was only going to be a short overview but it, everything did work out and um, it, the chuck is running nice and true no problem I didn't have any problems uh, with that I had a few little crumbs of swarf and some deburring to do and that did show up initially but uh, once I once I cleaned those things up I was fine so anyway um, that I'm gonna call it a wrap and and this is just a kind of a final wrap up to my uh, initial two videos on the chuck so uh, we'll call off now and and um, hopefully um, this has been some uh, some information for somebody thank you very much for watching bye